we have come for a big day out in St. Albans. So let's start the show. This is St. Albans Market. It is open on a Saturday and a Sunday, and you can find some very interesting treasures along the way. I think I need to buy something. So bad of me. Oh my gosh, I I really shouldn't, but oh my gosh, I think I have to. I'm a sucker for big goods. Oh, what should we got? Do we want this French one? Do you want the French one? Or should I not? That was the one that the French lady made, right? Oh, this. Yeah. Champagne. Should we get that one? Yeah. Can I get one of these? Yeah. Thank you. Should I give cash? Here, use this. I've got an old five pound. Oh, okay, fine. Have a good day. Bye. Brad, I really shouldn't be having any, but I'm making an exception. You know what this kind of feels like? This kind of feels like those flea markets that I remember in New York all those years ago the one that is like right next to Tower Records that's the one that kind of springs to mind that they have loads of oddities and things that you don't normally expect to find so this is what I'm feeling right now but I think it's a really good place to visit Completed by 1405, the clock tower is the only surviving medieval town belfry in England and is designated as a scheduled ancient monument. The tower, with its fine bell, has survived over 600 years of use. The clock tower was first and foremost a political statement. The townspeople used it to assert their freedom, power and wealth in the face of the premier Benedictine Abbey of England, now St Albans Cathedral.
What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. <laughs> St Albans Cathedral is the oldest site of continuous Christian worship in Britain. It stands over the place where Alban, the first martyr, was buried after giving his life for his faith over 1,700 years ago. The building itself is a blend of architectural styles spanning a millennia and contains recycled Roman bricks from Verulium. Of special interest are the 13th century wall paintings, a rare watching loft, and the fully restored medieval shrines of St. Alban and St. Antholiobus, the priest who converted Alban to Christianity. So what do you think of St Albans Cathedral then, Paul? I really can't put into words, but if I did have to say something, I would say that it's a magnificent structure and it has a lot of 
historical value and very impressed indeed. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Along with being a wide open area for recreational purposes, Verulium Park includes all that is left of a Roman settlement from which the park takes its name. The large amount of history on view has resulted in a museum dedicated to the historic Roman heritage upon which St Albans has been built. The park also includes tennis courts, football and cricket pitches, an athletics track and a golf course. This is kind of like my lunch because... Okay, it's fine. Uh, okay, so maybe like a big one? So... Five pound big? No, that's a bit too much because I... Uh, five pound uh, How big? Uh, this one? Maybe the one that is 350? The one that has the waffle cone? Yeah, yeah. the thing is that they're smaller because it's a more, more expensive cone. Um, waffle? And um, this cone? Should I, should I get that for three fifty? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I have like five? I have one. So you take this one because it's all it's all it up. I can just take it the machine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Wow, this is going to go down really well, I think. Ooh, look at this. Hmm. Yummy. Now let's do some more exploration. That was a really nice day out in St Albans. It certainly was. The sun has been shining for most of the time and we've enjoyed everything that the town... Oh, city actually. Yes, everything that... <laughs> city. Oh, how, how dare I? Everything that the city has on offer. So it makes a good big day out. So we will see you next time. Bye for now.